Hi, I'm Candy Cooper. Today we're starting out with an Impressionist landscape. One of the keys of Impressionism is the blending together of images. In fact, the definition of this movement in art is characterized by visible brush strokes, ordinary subject matter, and an emphasis on light and its changing qualities. So today we're going to make this um, Impressionistic landscape drawing, and I thought it would be really fun to work on black paper with oil pastels to get kind of a night-like scene. Okay. So to make this, you're going to need a black board and some oil pastels. Then you're also going to maybe need a frame, a pencil, and I think we're ready to get going. So the first thing we're going to do is sketch out our landscape. And you could practice this on a scrap piece of paper or you can get right to town uh, like I have here on my black mat board. So we're going to go ahead and sketch out the horizon line. And I'm adding a road. And I'm just kind of going over this to add, uh, show you some elements. I've already done it, so we're ready to go. Then also you'll want to draw some trees. And you can draw some large trees in the foreground but also, if you come back here, you can draw some smaller trees to make them look like they're farther away. And also, since it's nighttime, we want to add some little stars and some radiating lines to make them look like they're glowing. And you can just use a regular pencil on black paper and it'll show up just fine. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is start with the trees. And there's a few different ways you can do this. You can grab your green and start going over the leafy area. And I'm guessing since the moonlight is coming down that the tops of the trees will be a little bit lighter. But you can design this any way you like. But I love how these lighter green shades show up brilliantly on this black artboard. Then we can come in and start making curly cues through the centers of the tree. And you would wanna just keep doing this and filling in the spaces for all your trees. For this first layer of oil pastels, we're not trying to cover everything in super solid. We're just working on the base layer. Now let's come down to the road. So this is a dirt path going into a forest. So we're gonna use kind of this mustard color to get it started. And don't worry if you get crumbs from the oil pastels on your drawing because we can just brush those off with a paper towel. Like that. And then you would want to go over it with some other shades of brown to add some interest. Maybe even tire tracks or footprints. There's lots of different ways you could do this. I'm opting for some tire tracks. And we'll build up some dark brown since that's so far away. And you can see when I touch the two, or rub over the lighter yellow, how these colors will start blending together. And let's jump up to the night um, sky a little bit. So that's the moon, so we'll leave it alone for a minute. And we'll come over here. And then let's use a white on here for the moon. And it shows up perfectly. These are really um, creamy in texture, so it goes on super smooth. And I'm just adding some more details. So what you would do is kind of block out all your sections of color for the entire piece. And you would have something like this. Now we're gonna start going in, like here's our tree trunks. And you can use your finger to start smearing areas together. And I kinda wanna add some more light green to my trees. Each one's a little bit different depending on the shades you mix together. So we can use our finger, or you can leave it alone. Let's skip down to this one. For this one, I actually textured the trees with a lot of spaghetti. That's what I call them, like spaghetti um, lines. And then 
We'll come back and highlight those trees again. And you can add a little bit more highlight to that side of the road. And how about we use a teeny tiny oil pastel for the, to add some more glowing stars. And again, you could go back and smear those in. Now to finish this picture up, we're gonna add a few, a little bit more highlights and lighter colors to it. So let's grab a light blue and a white and we can start making some waves. This, I was pretty inspired by Van Gogh's Starry Night. So that's what I was kind of trying to go through. And Impressionists, you can use, you know, all different kinds of brush strokes, we would say, because a lot of times they were using oil paints. But the, these are, give us the same look and they're easier to use. So we're just gonna keep adding these in these waves in to make it kind of look twirly. And we'll keep coming around and keep blending all of these colors. And then if you need to add more of your colors, you can. And basically you just keep building up layers and filling in any areas of color. Or you can let some of that black board show through. and just keep circling around. And that's gonna start giving us more of that twirly night sky magical look. And let's grab some white. We can come again outside the moon and circle around. And the more you work at it, the more detail you can achieve with your oil pastels. Let's take a look at the finished one. And you can see the night sky is all swirly with whites and blues and the moon.